All right, a shalom, my young. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakak Wadash, double honesty, apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of uh, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simil Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. Um, according to the Holy Scriptures, we God chosen people. Uh, my name is Barak Allah, coming back at you with another lesson. Today's uh, lesson is going to be our vindication. So what does the word vindicate mean? All right, we got a few definitions here. You know, it says to clear as from an accusation, imputation, suspicion, or the like. To afford justification or, I mean, for justify, all right? It says to uphold or justify by argument or evidence. Okay, it says to assert, maintain, or defend. All right, that's a good good uh, definition for it. We're going to be defended. We're about to be defended through the spirit of Pavel Yahab by Shimei It says, or defend a right cause, etc. against opposition. All right, what's the major opposition we're about to uh, uh, face? This new world order, martial law, the RFID chip. It says to claim for oneself or another. It says Romans and civil law. And we, in, we are in the modern day Roman Empire. It says to regain possession. So we about to regain possession of our heritage, of our planet, of our land over there in Israel, of, of, our, of our women. We about to regain possession over you heathens. It says under claim of title or property through legal procedure or to assert one rights, right to possession. Here's a good one. It's number seven. That's the spiritual number. It says to get revenge for avenge. All right, it says verse verse eight, obsolete to deliver from, liberate. All right, nine, obsolete to punish. So hell yeah, brothers, we about to get vindicated through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh from the hand of our oppressors, who are the so-called white men, the elites of this, this society, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, Oppenheimers, so on and so forth. And we about to get delivered out of this mess, man, real soon. So I'm going to jump right into the scriptures. Hold you brothers and sisters out there are edified, man. It says, fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. So the workers of iniquity, the word iniquity means sin, is dealing with the rich and uh, the rich and the, and the elites of the society. Also, through two thirds of our people that have sold out to this lifestyle of androgyny, of this witchcraft that's going on, dealing with these top entertainers, producers, athletes, hey man, we, we, we ain't supposed to be envious of those motherfuckers, man, because they have sold a soul to Satan, the spiritual demon Satan. Okay, so they're part of this whole agenda as well, of being a goddamn degenerate, eating doo doo, uh, drinking their own piss, semen. Having sex with animals, same sex, uh, popping other women's wives, all types of things they, they, they do in, in that lifestyle. Having orgies, all right? They're sick individuals. So what? Why, why would you be envious of this flashy lifestyle they promote? They've done a bunch of abominable things to reach that plateau. So fuck them, man. All right? And especially the so-called white man dealing with the Rothschilds and Rockefellers. They're a cursed individuals. And this for fictitious world they living in right now because they, they power is going up all right for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and and wither as the green herb so hey they, they're about to be taken out of power through the spirit and power of yahweh by shimmy i was shy it says trust in yahweh and do good and do good man all the time man so shall thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Dwell in what land? Ultimately in Israel, which is our is which is our our motherland, really. Uh Galatians 4 and 26. And then that's where we're gonna get fed. We're gonna we going mean we're gonna be taken care of. We're gonna regain our authority on this planet. We're gonna be future rulers. We're gonna be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. All right. We're gonna have heathens underneath us. We're gonna rule over these people for eternity. It says, delight thyself also in, in Yahweh. How do you delight yourself in the Most High, man? By doing what we're doing. Doing your shows. Going out there teaching the word. 
fellowshipping with the bros. You understand me? That, that's, that's delighting yourself in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And yeah, brothers, we have a lot of desires of our heart. And you brothers know what, know what it is going, man. And we're going to receive all that in the kingdom. Because you don't want the, the desires of, of your heart in this kingdom because it is, it is very corruptible. The women that you have on this side, they, they, they're, that's tainted meat, dog. That's tainted bologna. That's tainted motherfucking steak. That's tainted chicken, man. All right? That, that's what the hell you're dealing with, man. All right? This is all temporal. Commit thy way. This is a commitment. It says, commit thy way unto Yahweh. Trust also in him. He shall bring it to pass, man. So this is a commitment, a lifelong commitment. You see, when you sell your soul to Satan, man, they, that's a lifelong commitment of, di of different rituals they got to do. And it is, it is some nasty shit, man. The laws have few, lo the most I have fewer laws and easier laws for us to follow. Keeping his high holy days holy as possible. Um, what is, what is the uh, Shabbat, you know, which comes in every month and different days of the month. Then you have the Pesach. You got to keep that. Uh, you, you got the dietary laws you got to keep. Honor thy father and thy mother. Do not commit adultery. Don't don't commit bestiality. Uh, it's, it's, it's a few laws I'm trying to remember, man. Love the most side with all thy heart. Uh, things of that nature, man. But on the on the left hand side, these motherfuckers are doing the opposite. Everything that I say, man, they they doing it, man. They are evil. They are vile. They they are are, are they are some nasty individuals, man. So this commitment is way better than being on the opposite side, man. Okay? Because they got to sacrifice people, sacrifice babies. Only thing the Lord requires of us is to present our body as a living sacrifice. How you do that? By going out there teaching the word. People got to see you, man. Commit thy way unto Yahweh. Trust also in him. And he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light. Yo, this is the true light. And thy judgment as the noonday. So, hey, man, I, I, uh, this this so-called white man judgment is going to come in the height of his power, which is his new world order, right before you fill his belly. So right before he about to implement, the, I mean, right, you know, in the midst of him implementing the chip and World War Three, Yahweh Shai is going to show up, man. And he's going to receive his judgment. It says, rest in Yahweh and wait patiently for him. So this is the thing of patience, man. Fret not, thy, fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. So a lot of these wicked niggas that sold out in the industry, they are prospering right now. But it's not true uh, uh, prosperity. This is, that's, that's all uh, tainted prosperity, man. It says, fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. That's starting off with the elites. The elites, they're the ones... Who are gathered up and they have the council on foreign relations and the new world order meetings and they pass things down to their peons to, to uh to, to further support their agenda. All right, so I'm gonna get some scriptures on that, some precepts, real quick. This is Job, the fifth chapter, verse twelve. Uh, it says, "Uh, he disappointed the the, the vices of the crafty." So that their hands cannot perform the enterprise. And what's the enterprise? I'll show you on a, on a dollar bill, real quick. All right. If you don't know, now you know. Oh, that's the front of it. It's lock here. Here it is. It's a better picture of it. It's right on your dollar bill. Oh, this is my... This is bold crap. You saw I mess with my thing now. I'm trying to enlarge this thing. Let me go further down. Bear with me one second. I'm trying to enlarge this dollar bill here. All right, there it is. 
All right, a, a new a new coepsis, as you can see oh, above the pyramid, that's announcing the birth. All right, Novus Order Seclorum is a uh, new world order. Okay, that's announcing the birth of the new world order. That's their ent that's their enterprise. That's what they want to accomplish with the new world order. Is not nothing new. That goes back to uh, the Genesis, I believe. What? Guess to me, man. What's the? Uh, I think it's the sixth chapter, or the seventh chapter, I believe. So lucky if I, you know, if I don't get it right. But the new world order goes all the way back to then. Then the Greek Empire tried to do it onto onto um Antioch when when Antioch Epiphany was around. The Roman Empire tried it. They all failed. So now you know, and nothing, nothing new underneath the sun. So the, the, the he is the Most High. It says he disappoint the vice the devices of the crafty, so that the hands cannot perform the enterprise, which is the New World Order. Say so take it the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. What's the counsel of the forward? The Illuminati. I mean they're gonna be destroyed, man. Plain and simple. So why fret yourself, man? Yeah, we in this flesh. It's everyday struggle, man. But it's all right. Hey man, we almost out this bitch, man. It says cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thy fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. So you can't let your emotions overtake you and you start because it's gonna get worse, man. These cops got the uh the green light to kill a lot of you niggas, man. A lot of motherfuckers gonna die, so you can't let that overtake you because you know that's Jake. But you gotta let the prophecies fulfill uh prevail. And you got to come to that understanding, man. That's 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 their judgment. You know? For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon you, how will they shall inherit the earth, man? This whole entire globe, we shall inherit. All right? Get some precepts on that, too. So lock here. Going back to Job. Job 20. All right? So this is what we, hey, man. I'm going to start at verse 5, then I'm going to jump down to 23 to 29. It says, The triumphant of the wicked is short, the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, man. All right? Marinate on that. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds. And who the hell is doing that? This is a so-called white man. Got his space stations out there. Got his skyscrapers. Got his airplanes and all that stuff. His technology. That's his excellency as mounted up to the heavens. All right. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung, his own shit. What do you do with shit, man? You flush it down the toilet or you, you, if you outside in the field somewhere in the, in the forest, you got to bury it in a goddamn hole. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a bad dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. All right, jumping down to verse 23. All right, when he's about to fill his belly, Yahabashim Yahushai shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. So it's the same thing that he tried to exercise, going to backfire on his, on his ass, man. And it shall, re and, and shall rain it upon him while he's eating. So, we're, you know, while he's fulfilling his new world order, people getting chipped, martial law, World War Three. it's going to backfire on him because why? Yahweh shine the angel is going to show up. Brothers are going to get spiritual power. He shall flee from the iron weapon, which are the missiles, because he have nuclear, I'm sorry, he has deep underground military bases and things of that nature. And he has his international space stations. And the bull of steel shall strike him through. Right? It is drawn and coming out of his body, which is all the, all the nuclear silos. Yeah, the glittering sword coming out of his goal, terrors are upon him. So that's dealing with the nuclear warheads hitting this place, man. Different parts of the world. Or all darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire shall not shall salaka. A fire shall salaka. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. So this heaven that's revealing his iniquities through the internet. You got all types of uh, uh, so-called conspiracy videos out, which is truth. And you got the prophets on YouTube to back up all different theories, man. 
The increase of his house shall depart and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. This is the portion of a wicked man from the Most High and the heritage appointed unto him by the Most High, man. All praises, y'all, by Shem Shai, man. Let's go back to verse 9. It says, For the evildoers, the Illuminati, the Rothschild, so on and so forth, shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they, they shall inherit the earth. I mean, I could go on and on, man, but it will. Hey, man. Give it all praise to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders, man. Much love to you, brothers. And shalom.